When Rasulullah was close to 60 years old and he had married Aisha radiallahu anha, she saw him sitting with an old woman and he was smiling and laughing with her. And when Aisha radiallahu anha saw this, she became a little bit jealous. So she asked him, who is that old woman? And Rasulullah sallallahu would not hesitate to say to Aisha, she was one of the close friends of Khadija. Aisha radiallahu anha said, wow, to herself, even after her death, he still continues to keep contact with those who were close to his wife Khadija. So she said to him something like this. Didn't Allah give you someone better than Khadija? I mean, look at me. I'm young, vibrant. Then Rasulullah's eyes became watery and he went to a straight face saying to her, No, by Allah, Allah did not give me anyone better than her. She is the one who supported me when everyone else left me. She is the one who believed in me when everyone said that I am a liar. She is the one who encompassed me when everyone else abandoned me. She is the one who supported me through my life and Allah gave me children from her. At that point, Aisha radiallahu Anha realized the intense love and compassion he had towards her that she said, Ya Rasulullah, please ask Allah to forgive me. And he said, Ghafar Allahu laki ya Aisha. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam's tears flowed for Khadija radiallahu anha. Jibreel alayhi salam once came down and said to him, Satatika Khadija, she will come to you and she is carrying on top of her head a bundle of sticks and something that looks like sugar cane. And tell her that Allah gives her his salam. And tell her that Allah has promised her and prepared for her a house, a palace made of golden sugar cane in Jannah, where she will see no more hardship. And Khadija radiallahu anha cried, saying, I love Allah and I love his messenger. Why would he not cry for someone like that? Until one day after the battle of Badr, when the Muslims, they took captives. And then he offered that if any family who has a family member who is a captive, they are allowed to ransom them. They have to pay something to ransom them and let them free. One of his daughters by the name of Zainab radiallahu anha, she was married to a man of the mushrikeen by the name of Abu al-As. And it was still allowed, it was still permitted that Muslim women were allowed to be married to mushrikeen. It wasn't forbidden yet. So Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is waiting and he's accepting ransoms from people to set free family members. This man, Abu al-As, he was one of those captured. He was on the enemy lines fighting Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam's army. But he was also the son-in-law of Rasulullah. Then Zainab radiallahu anha came along because she loved her husband. She came along to ransom, to pay for the release of her husband Abu al-As. When it came to the laws of Allah, Rasulullah treated everyone the same, even if it was his own daughter. Zainab radiallahu anha comes along and she brings something. Rasulullah is yet to have a look at what this something is. Something of intense value. And she offers it to Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam ransoming her husband. Rasulullah sallam opens it and what does he see? He sees the necklace of Khadija radiallahu anha, which he gave to her when he married her. And this same necklace is the gift which Khadija radiallahu anha gave to her daughter Zainab when she was wed to Abu al-As. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he started to shiver and he could not hold his tears until his beard was soaked with his tears, remembering Khadija radiallahu anha. And he said to his companions, this is my daughter Zainab, she has brought this gift to ransom her husband. If you wish, you can let him free without taking the necklace. And if you wish, you can keep him as a captive and not accept it. And they said, Ya Rasulullah, how could we not? They released Abu al-As and Rasulullah returned the necklace back to Zainab. Such sentimental value. Between a husband and wife, there should be compassion. And tears that flow bring love together. Rasulullah Wasallam, the most romantic man, the most compassionate man, teaching us how a bond between the husband and wife should be.